Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to the main plenary virtual room. I'm Willie Prado, faculty member here at the University of Miami and Vice Provost for Faculty Affairs and Dean of the Graduate School. I know this has been a long day for everyone, but what a great day it has been. A day of learning, some stimulating conversations, provocative conversations and networking, even though remotely, I hope that everyone has had an opportunity to network and hopefully this networking will lead to future collaborations and partnerships. Today we learn about the commitment and incredible work that the leaders of the various universities and other key organizations in the region have played in sustainability. The University of Miami and its faculty and its leadership team are no exceptions. We are playing a key leadership role in this space. Now, I have the honor to introduce our next speaker. As a public health scientist and a member of the university community, I am humbled to have the opportunity to present to you Dr. Julio Frank, president of the University of Miami and one of my public health heroes. Dr. Frank has always been a champion for public health and sustainability in the numerous leadership roles he has served in, whether that be as president of the University of Miami, as Dean of the Harvard T. H. Chang School of Public Health, as Minister of Health in Mexico, as Founding Director General of the National Institute of Public Health in Mexico, as Executive Director in charge of evidence and information for policy at the World Health Organization, and a Senior Fellow in the Global Health Program of the Belinda Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. President Frank has a long history of impactful achievements and accolades. And so I will only mention some because otherwise we would be spending quite a bit of time here in the um, afternoon and evening. President Frank is a member of the American Academy of, of Arts and Sciences, the US National Academy of Medicine and the National Academy of Medicine of Mexico and has received numerous distinctions including but not limited to the Clinton Global Citizen Award. He has received other distinctions for all of the pioneering work he has done in both research, practice, and policy. Dr. Frank, thank you again for being a champion for sustainability, resilience, and public health. You are my public health champion, and I know that of many. Good evening to all distinguished panelists honored participants. On behalf of the University of Miami, I would like to extend my appreciation for your participation in this historic symposium on subtropical and tropical coastal resilience. Today was a wonderful day of learning, and I hope all of you were able to take advantage of the many spaces made available throughout it to explore ideas and solutions, pose questions, hear rich discussions, and appreciate the breadth of research emerging out of our region. The tools many have mastered during a year of virtual gathering and learning in some ways made it possible for so many distinguished researchers and guests, over 60 speakers, to come together for this inaugural symposium. In one short day, many significant topics have been broached, including disaster mitigation, gentrification, cultural identity, social and economic inequities, architecture, engineering, and the role of the arts and of education in building resilience. The format was unique in that it brought together academics, public leaders, private practitioners, and nonprofit representatives from South Florida and the Caribbean to present their diverse areas of expertise. An interdisciplinary and integrated approach to complex issues is one of the most important aspects of research here at the University of Miami. This approach, bringing diverse fields and perspectives together is essential if we are truly to become resilient. We are committed to addressing these significant issues across our various academic programs. The University of Miami's physical location here in South Florida makes us all too aware of the risks and realities of the effects of a changing climate on all areas of human life. This first-hand perspective lends urgency to our search for ways to safeguard the environment through research, innovation, and collaboration. 
our laboratory for integrated knowledge, ULINK, and our multiple related degree programs, including the newest of these, the Master of Professional Science in Urban Sustainability and Resilience, itself this interdisciplinary, our evidence the U is intensifying its commitment to investing in solutions and preparing future climate leaders. The purpose of this inaugural event was to further advance a dialogue in the region about the existential crisis facing us today, the issue of climate change, and more specifically, how its related stressors and shocks impact human beings. As we have heard throughout the day, the impacts of climate change cut across all dimensions of life. Forging a way forward will depend on our ability to amplify the active engagement among researchers, practitioners, and leaders focused on the physical, social, and economic impacts. Our dialogue sessions, which have just concluded, were led by our event hosts and focused on some of, of these important areas of consideration urban policy and the equitable and wise use of our financial resources, the infrastructure options that support and enhance our daily lives and our commitment to environmental protection, the realities of how a changing climate is shaping people's decisions to move and seek shelter in new places, the challenges and the opportunities that exist in the built environment and the leaders locally here in Miami who are developing pathways forward and of course, the crucial function that education plays in fostering partnerships and nurturing the upcoming generations as they begin to take the reins and work towards meaningful and effective change. These rich spaces of dialogue, along with the presentations throughout the day, including our insightful keynote speech this morning by Mr. Jim Murley, Miami-Dade's Chief Resilience Officer, and the lunchtime chat between Drs. Paul Farmer and Felicia Knoll will be archived and shared for the public on the symposium website. I hope that you all will take the opportunity to view them, reflect, reflect on the insights, discuss them with one another, and share them with others as they inspire and shape our own efforts. The University of Miami has truly been honored to bring together some of the greatest minds and leading thinkers focused on the human-centered aspects of climate change and their connections and dimensions. We are delighted to work with each of you for the advancement of knowledge and for the promotion of a dialogue that can lead to effective solutions to the most consequential challenges facing all of humankind. Thank you. <laughs>